Hi, welcome to the Human Anatomy Lab. Today we're gonna to be talking about extrinsic back muscles. So we have five different muscles that make up the extrinsic back muscles. Latissimus dorsi, the traps, rhomboids, levator scapulae, and serratus anterior. So in this lab, we like to tape the muscles on a skeleton so that way we can see the muscles and see what actions they do. So first we have the latissimus dorsi, then we have the levator scapulae, then we have the upper middle and lower trapezius. Deep to that we have the rhomboids, the minor and the major. And then finally, we have the serratus anterior. Okay, so first we have the latissimus dorsi originating from T5 or T7 to L5, kind of in the iliac crest region. And then we have it inserting on the humerus and in the intertubercular sulcus. So this muscle is going to perform adduction, extension, and internal rotation. Whoa, I just love these extrinsic muscles so much I wanted to match them. Next up, we have levator scapulae right here. It's going to originate at the transverse process of C1 and C4, C1 to C4 and then insert at the superior angle on the scapula. All right, so this muscle is gonna perform elevation and, and downward rotation of the scapula. Next up, we have a huge muscle that is so huge, it's actually divided up into three divisions. And that muscle is the trapezius, so here we have the upper, middle, and lower fibers of the trapezius muscle. So the upper trapezius is gonna kind of start up here on the skull, on the posterior aspect of the skull, and come all the way down the vertebral column even further than the latissimus dorsi, which you can see. And then they're going to attach up here close to the spinous scapula, acromion, clavicle region. So next up, we have the actions of the trapezius. So just a reminder that what is seen on this side of the back is also going to be seen on this side of the back. Um, but for video purposes, we've just taped the individual fibers of each of the divisions. So this is gonna be the upper, middle, and lower. So now for the actions for this upper trapezius, it is going to do elevation of the scapula. For the middle division, it's going to do retraction. So it's going to go over closer to the midline. And then for the lower trapezius, it's going to do depression of the scapula. So it's going to go down. All right, so finally, we have another action for the upper and lower trapezius. So that is going to be upward rotation. So this inferior angle of the scapula is going to go away from the midline, so laterally. So next up, we have the rhomboids, the major and the minor, which are deep to the trapezius. So technically there is a major and a minor, but for the purpose of this lab, since they produce the same actions, we are just gonna say rhomboids. Um, another thing to note is that they are superficial to the erector spinae muscles, which we have another video on. So go check that out for more information on the intrinsic back muscles. But for the rhomboids, we have them originating on the vertebral column and then inserting on the medial border of the scapula. All right, so like we did with the traps, we've put a piece of tape to signify the rhomboids on this side. And you can also see that the fibers of the middle trapezius and the rhomboids line up in the same direction. 
So that tells us that they are gonna produce the same action. So if you remember, the middle trapezius produced retraction of the scapula, and so the rhomboid is also going to produce retraction of the scapula. But something different about the rhomboids, since they are slightly angled, they are also going to produce downward rotation of the scapula. All right, so final extrinsic muscle is going to be serratus anterior. It is going to originate ribs one through eight, which you can see. And then it's going to insert on the medial border of the scapula. All right, so this muscle is really difficult to see on the skeleton. So thankfully we have this model that shows it a lot easier. So you can see that it's on the anterior aspect of the scapula. And now let's get into the actions. All right, so the primary action of this muscle is gonna be holding the scapula to the rib cage. So this is gonna be not contracted. And then once it's contracted, the scapula is gonna be stuck right here. Then this next action is going to be protraction of the scapula. So that's gonna come all the way out here. And then finally, we're gonna have upward rotation of the scapula. And that was your video on the extrinsic back muscles. I'm Sonia from the Human Anatomy Lab. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.